you guys i am back with another video i wanted to give you guys an update on ttc i am currently at work and i'm on my lunch break so yeah just sitting in the car don't feel comfortable eating in the employee lounge so we ain't, we haven't gotten that far yet but yeah so let's do a quick update from cycle two i think it was so basically i got my cycle um and i did not get my bfp so that's pretty much where that stands and that cycle was kind of strange when i think about it because it's my cycle stayed on for an extremely long time i was still pretty much spotting when i um begin to you know begin to go into my fertile window so um i don't know if that was because i started using the um menstrual cup and i i want to do a separate video to talk to you guys about that but yeah so i don't know if i you know had irritated my cervix or whatever because i was trying to figure out how to use that or what but i'm currently on cycle three I don't know the cycle day. Honestly, you guys, I have not been keeping up with it. I've just been kind of going with the flow, just sporadically here and there taking ovulation tests. I did take one this morning. Today is May the 23rd, and it was positive. So this is the third positive test that I got. So two days prior to today, those tests were positive as well. So I'm assuming... It's got to be around cycle day 14, 15. That's normally when I ovulate. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. I haven't been fully in-depth tracking my my um, cycle. So, yeah. But that's where I am at. And I will try to um, take a picture of the ovulation tests that I do have. Just to kind of give you guys a little line progression. And... Um, I'll try to keep you informed on what is going on uh, for this cycle. So, yeah. But other than that, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. I think that was everything. So, I think. Let me think for a second. Yeah, I think that was everything. But if not, I will come back and do another video but that is all i have for you guys i will talk to you soon bye hey you guys really fast i wanted to talk to you guys and show you my line progression oh and i'm dropping them I'm trying to get them out of my cabinet so this cycle i had a really really strong ovulation so i'm hoping that's a good thing and i ovulated um for so far i had a peak well i'm saying it wrong i had positive tests for four days in a row which is not my norm so i'm really excited about that I'm trying to get it close to the light so you guys can see what it looks like. This is the one from, from today. Okay. I'm trying to get them straightened out. And I don't know what cycle days I took these on. The last one that you'll see I took on today. Today is May the 25th. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see my line progression. So here it is. So as you can see, it's the first test that I took all the way up until today. Sorry about that. I think this one fell on the floor and I stepped on it earlier today. So yeah, that's why it looks like that. But yeah, so as you can see, starting here, the test started looking kind of positive. And here, the line was darker than the control line. 
and this one was from today. So that was the day before. So that was the 24th, 23rd, 22nd, 21st, I'm assuming. And these two, I don't know what days I took those. But yeah, not too far from when I started on the 21st. So that is my Vaughn progression. I'm really excited because I've never had as many days with positive. So yes. I'm just really excited and I'm hoping that things work out in my favor. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that really quick before I go to bed because I have to work tomorrow and I know I have not been making that many updates, but I wanted to update you guys and I will take another ovulation test tomorrow because I'm just curious to see how the line will look. So, yeah, so I'll do that. And then hopefully I'll have enough time on Wednesday, which I'm off to give you guys another update. Okay, you guys, I'll see you then. Hey guys, I want to come back really fast and show you my test from today, the 27th. So yeah, that's where we are. Looks like my peak is almost over. So then we'll see if I get my BFP this month. I'll talk to you guys soon.